right, so we had the office chilling, waiting on the newest employee to walk in. I think that's him. What's going on, boss man? Yeah, what's up? Not too much, not too much. How's everything been going? Yeah, it's been going good, man. I was actually down the street. My uh, new car was running out of gas, so I pulled it in the garage. <laughs> Oh, no problem. So you, you got you a, a ride and everything? Yeah, I went and bought a couple cars over at the dealerships today, scoping them out, see what was going on. Okay, okay. So uh, everything going good? You got everything you need? You got somewhere to stay? Um, i actually been trying to hit up a realtor so I can uh, get a house. I got myself a little budget going. So. Okay, how much is the house? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't oh, talked my to bad. a realtor. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, you know, if you need anything uh, for that that type of stuff, you know, just let me know. I can always uh, leave you something here in the office, or uh, you know, shoot it your way if we're in the city at the same time. Yeah, if you know a realtor or anybody uh, that's in the in the neighborhood, have them hit me up and. Uh... I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I usually deal with the the main realtor. Um, if I, if, uh, you know, if I go that route, yeah, yeah. So, uh, it, but I'm not sure if if he's in currently or not. But uh, as soon as you get that squared away, cool. It sounds like you got uh, got you a couple vehicles and everything that you uh, that you wanted. So, want to make sure we keep money in your pocket. I got cash over there in the safe for you. It's a uh, 250k. All right, appreciate it. Like I said, man, if there's right. anything I can do uh, while we're waiting for things to line up, you know, let me know. Yeah, I, I saw your message about the uh, racetrack out back. That's a really, really, really good idea. Uh, so uh, uh, whatever you, you uh, think you'll need, you know, just let one of us know. And, uh, well, everybody uh, except for uh, one of us. Um, but... Quan can get you. Jaquan can get you. Uh, the other gentleman, I don't think you've met him yet. Um, I haven't met any other of them other than you. Yeah, I know one is uh, mentioned that he wanted to try to link up with you if you were going to be in the in the city uh, later on. Um, that's the one actually that won't be able to give you a whole lot. He can uh, he can only give you certain things, but the other two uh, can get you whatever you need. Uh, so like for that for example you know if you can you want to do that that race setup just let us know what you need and what you need us to do um, any funds you need we'll cover that anything you wish to give uh, anybody that's participating or people showing up however you want to set it up you know we will make sure all the co uh, costs are covered so you can get that event off because it's representing the casino and uh, you know so what we normally like to do is try to make it to where when people show up here for any event that we have, uh, we cover, you know, give them some basic chip chip money to spend, give them something to drink, and, uh, you know, send them on their way. Or if they, you're going to have a little competition like you, you, you were speaking about the race, uh, what we can do is, you know, set up prize money for your first, second, and, and third place, uh, depending on how you do it. I guess I saw bikes and maybe rally cars. I, however, you know, whatever you come up with, well, we got you covered. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking we could get up with like uh, some of the car dealerships and the motorcycle dealership have been sponsored out and uh, that way it's a little bit of promotion for them a little bit of promotion for us and that way we're not flipping the whole cost you can actually put some of the costs on them you know oh well yeah we, I mean, we got we got loan pockets what we what we have to do what we try to do is to facilitate the businesses to make their money and of course uh, you know you make your cut or, or we'll we'll pay you separately uh but yeah. you know like you said to get that exposure for the business if they want to come in and sponsor and and pay us as well that's fine if they don't you know to still get them up here you know we figure yeah. out what it'll take to get you know if we can get bikes from them that can be utilized for that event if they don't want to donate them cool or you know we can give them half the cost whatever is needed for them to be able to get those bikes up here and hell i'd even say you know uh maybe we cover the cost of of a bike or two that's going to be used in the in the in the event and the people participating can keep the bike you know something like that yeah because they only i was down there this afternoon bought myself a ducati and i mean they're only like 65k so i mean 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, like you know, stuff like not that. Like it's a huge investment. So I have them, I guess, maybe charge charge a, a entry fee, you know, uh, something small that gets money out of the participant, you know, so that the participant puts up something to get in and race. And uh, once we figure out how many people need to race, uh, then we'll go ahead and cover the cost of those bikes. And the people that, that win, the top three that win, I guess they'll get to keep their bike and maybe we donate the other ones some other way. I don't know how, how they'd want to do it because they're going to have to purchase, the dealership's going to have to purchase those bikes in order to get them down yeah. here. Uh, or we purchase the bike, however it works. But I guess on the front side of things, how we can word it is only the, the top three people will get to keep the bikes if they win, plus the prize money. But what we'll really do is everybody that pays to get in and gets a bike he'll just keep keep the yeah. bike <laughs> we I just mean, don't tell them up front their entry f- yeah basically their entry fee is basically right right money so right right so so we we can do it like that that way we keep it to where it's it facilitates people that all you really got to do is show up if you got a little money in your pocket and want to participate then toss that up and you can get in and you'll leave with a bike or some prize money you know yeah. Yeah, I was sitting right. over here the other night looking out back and I was thinking about it. I'm like, yeah, man, that probably go off all right. So I can uh, try to reach oh, out yeah, to definitely. some of the dealerships and see what we can work out with them. And... But yeah, just really let them know uh, you, you represent you, the so. casino. Yeah, just let them know you represent the casino. Uh, anything that uh, is going to be uh, legitimate and is, is business related as far as the casino goes, uh, you know, you got an idea and you want to do it you know have at it uh yeah. all, all you'll need is is the resources uh make sure you're not coming out of your pocket for uh you know these sort of things unless you want to uh everything else the casino will fund yeah and like i said i wasn't gonna move on anything without talking to you and i ain't had a chance to talk to you since the other night so yeah i apologize about that i was a little sick voice wasn't working all right hopefully it's been been okay today yeah, you're actually sounding great today. And I've been out of okay, the city the okay. last couple of days, so. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it may be hard to catch me. Uh, it just depends, because I'll, I'll fly in and I may only be at the house, or uh, I'll have a couple of things I'll have to go and take care of and get organized. And then, you know, I also have the lawyer job as well. So I got a couple of lawsuits pending that I got to take care of. Uh, so a lot of times I'll be in and I'll be busy and I may not ever stop by here or I'll stop by here uh, to stock things up in the areas that get stocked for uh, the guy that would like to meet with you later. Yeah. But other than that, you know, you got the job. Uh, actually, I was going to I'm gonna knock you down to four if I haven't already. Uh, well, actually, I'll leave you. No, where you it's still at. have it's me. Fine. A, yeah, you still it's, have me as owner in the uh, thing. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. It actually, makes things a little easier. So, uh, so yeah, we'll leave it like that, and then uh, yeah, you know, like I said, if you you need anything, just shoot one of us a, a message so that you know we can facilitate getting that for you or leaving it. Uh, the best. The best place to leave things for the two of you that we have to do that for uh, is uh, here in the office, at least for you, will be the office right now um, to store it for you. And then uh, if it's cash, uh, if you need uh, the alcohol or anything and one of us aren't around, um, you know, if you want to give out alcohol for something that you're doing, you know, we'll have to come in and leave that for you and leave it stored. Uh, It'd be difficult to carry some of that stuff around all at once. But you know we'll we'll get it figured out. Yeah, I got my next stops. Try to go find me a gun because I just bought about a million dollars in cars today. And somebody comes okay. up and gets it, you got to be able to defend yourself. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Make sure you once you uh, you're going to grab your your weapons license first uh, yeah. from the from one of the uh, police officers. And once you get that, you know you better get your weapon and then take your weapon, however many you get take those back to the police so that they can register them so you'll be good all right yeah i haven't needed uh, one up to this point but i saw yeah, a couple yeah, people uh, drive by slow when i'd roll by so <laughs> yeah yeah it's, it's definitely recommended uh and, and i wouldn't get in the habit of keeping uh, very much cash on you uh you know oh, even no, right I now i 
I I only have uh, I don't even I don't even have twelve hundred dollars. I got eleven hundred dollars in cash on me. So. Yeah, I usually keep enough for food, and that's about it. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. Sounds like uh, you got everything going. Uh, now I want to make sure I keep everything facilitated for you. Yeah. Is there anybody you kind of want me to keep an eye out for? Or? Uh, at the moment, not that I can think of. Uh, everything should be in order, um, and you know, business is going well, and uh, there's really no issues. Uh, okay. It'll it'll depend on what I got going with some of these civil cases, if whether or not I need you to get any information for me or uh, watch anybody. Okay. Uh, but I, I'll let you know on that. I pr it probably won't be needed because the, the cases are pretty straightforward. Uh, so we should be able to settle those out. Um, I did negotiate a contract with uh, AutoZone and got them okay. set up. Uh, they, retain, uh, they retain the firm for uh, representing them as their legal counsel for AutoZone. So uh, generated a contact uh, contract for them and their the businesses that they deal with so that uh, they can get that facilitated for the deliveries and whatnot. But other than that, everything else is, is there, there's been no hiccup, which is a good thing. Yeah, the streets have been kind of quiet. I mean, I saw a few interesting things this afternoon, but it, other than that, it's um, real quiet on the streets. Well, yeah, that, that's always a good thing when people are behaving, but when they don't, you know, that's when, you know, we we collectively have an opportunity to make money if they retain the, the firm, you know, to represent them on criminal yeah. cases. But, you know, like I said, outside of that, you know, we keep everything rolling and, and make sure business is good and always keep the money flowing so that we're happy. And as long as we're happy, everybody else can be happy. Now, I do have one issue that uh i'm gonna have to get squared away with uh, los santos customs uh, i've been looking for the owner or somebody that uh that owes uh, they owe me seventy five thousand from an upgrade that uh, i was looking to get taken care of so whenever i can get a hold of somebody there make sure they they get me to 75k back and they'll be good yeah i did have a question for you as far as the business opportunity okay, okay. um it may be something to uh, bring under the umbrella if it's something you're interested in. Um, every time I fly in city, the uh, unicorns close. It may be something we could uh, take some clients down to or entertain some people. Maybe some opportunities in there. Uh, okay. Or is that kind of a dead end? No, I, I I actually silently own uh, both the strip clubs. I usually uh, uh, whoever is usually interested in uh, owning that, I usually facilitate uh, you know whichever one that they're looking to own and, and such. Uh, okay. The strip club is the strip club is as far as a a venue location, it, it's it's good. Um, it's kind of a headache in a way to to manage because the dancers uh they haven't figured out how to get the dancers uh to where uh they do serve a purpose the dancers uh are locals and if you uh tip the tip the dancer uh you know it can lower your stress level if if your uh you know your stress yeah. level goes up um but it's a hundred dollars so that that sort of is kind of useless uh the food there is strictly with inside of the strip club um, so food can be made, cocktails can be made, and craft beers can be made. None of those you can get uh, from the liquor store. Um, it does have the ability to have music being played at uh, both clubs, the Bahama Mama and uh, Vanilla Unicorn. Yeah. Um, let's see what else. Uh, outside of that, you could bring the food out. But it's inside food. Well, you yeah, I mean once you uh, once you make the food then the food can be sold uh, all of those things and you know people can consume the food um but you don't need to like deal with any food deliveries or or actually okay. i think we would have to set up something if i remember correctly i think i think we would have to set up something with the distribution center for uh some of the meats and things like that but i'll, I'll have to look into that and let you know because we do have grocery stores uh so those items yeah. may actually be in the grocery store 
I don't know if you found those yeah. two. I think there's two of them. Yeah, I, well, I found the one out in uh, Polito. Okay, okay. So yeah, you can get your TVs and appliances, furniture, food, all that stuff from from there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, if that's if that's something you're you're interested in, uh, um, then you know I could probably get you set up with uh, with one of those. Yeah, I just looking at different opportunities around town, trying to see what nobody else is really doing. Seems like everybody's really caught up on uh, cars and pharmaceuticals right now. So if we can take yeah. some of the money that they're spending on both of those, you know, yeah, the, in a different direction. That, that location I also found uh, can also be a little bit complicated for uh, people that run around with their eyes open. Um, that's usually not yeah. the best location for for uh, individuals that have uh, open eyes. Um, I, I've ran into that in the past. Um, like it serves as a like it pretty much only really made sense at like for specific events. Yeah. Not where people could pull up situation. yeah it yeah it 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 really it doesn't really do a whole lot i mean i don't know other i mean you can try different sort of events but the buildings are only so big and they're set up how they're set up and uh the locals don't go anywhere and if it's at night there's even more locals yeah. uh, there's the local employees that work there dancing and then uh at night um, especially the Bahama Mama, the the locals visiting uh, the club also increase, and you can't control them, and they get a little wild sometimes. So, uh, but like I said, it, they're, they're both they both are open, um, and since I I do uh, technically own both of them, um, that, that is something that I could get facilitated uh, outside of an auction for you. I I just wouldn't recommend it to be quite honest. Uh, I don't think okay. it's very very good good uh business sort of situation outside of the very very specific events yeah i got gotcha. you yeah it's kind of a it's kind of a way about it that i didn't look at i was looking at a way to uh kind of get people off the street and if you can kind of get the uh in a general direction you may be able to uh learn a little bit about what's going on so even if uh even if I was to purchase it, you know, from you, it'd be one of those situations where I wouldn't really care if it lost a lot of money, uh, very much money, because the information that you could get out of it when you uh, get people in there could be uh, more valuable than what it is you're losing. Yeah, most certainly. Most certainly. That was the idea I had originally uh, when I got them both, but uh it's not bad and uh as long as you can you know if, if people can come in there at times or you can get them in there for specific things or you know facilitate any conversations or anything like that uh that can happen there you know business meetings and whatnot um all that's beneficial mm -hmm. uh you know for a location like that and you know they they don't do that here so yeah yeah, I mean, we'd want to try to keep as much of that away from here as possible anyway. You know? Now, one of the things that uh, once we remodel here and uh, rebuild the building, um, it's going to have a club and a restaurant inside of here. Oh, okay. That would definitely be beneficial. Yeah, so it'll be a casino, it'll be a restaurant, and it'll have uh, a club uh, all here. Uh, the entire building is going to change as long as, as well as the interior yeah because like when i hooked up with you the other day you know it wasn't necessarily about the money you know the money is a great sign of respect it's more of you know learning from somebody that is uh higher up in the food chain you know understandable understandable well, yeah, you'll, you'll have your uh, opportunities and different stuff like that. If you find things that you think will be beneficial for you, you know, uh, feel free to take that on and and uh, handle that. Uh, just make sure uh, nothing that you get involved in uh, affects the uh, the casino no. in a negative way. Oh, no. I, I've been kind of walking around here kind of uh, since I've been in the city. Okay, okay. 
Well, yeah, I mean, I, I haven't heard anything negative. Uh, nothing's been passed back to me at all uh, uh, about you. So uh, yeah. I, I say just keep doing what you're doing, and if you find more ways to make yourself even more money, you know, knock that out. Yeah, I always look for a way to come up and kind of uh, stay under the radar. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the best way to be. Best way to be. Make the most money that way. That's why I stashed my car down in the basement. The cop sitting down the uh, street didn't impound it on me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. No, no problem with that. You know, anything that helps. I just make sure if they're behind you, you know, and you're trying to get away from nah. them for whatever reason, if that's what you're into, then definitely don't come here. Oh, no. No, I would never do anything to jeopardize what you got going on, man. All right. Well, yeah, I don't think you will either. Uh, so, like I said, I, I, I'm glad to have you on. Uh, you're, you're actually a help, and uh, you got great ideas and ways that I think you'll be able to bring money in, bring money in for yourself. And uh, the most important part I want to make sure is that you're able to facilitate, you know, yourself be able to make money, and uh, we'll make sure we keep you straight uh, when we can. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, I'm, I'm pretty good at making money on my own. You know, this is more of a, I guess it's more of a, just a way for me to rise the ranks. You know, money's one thing, but, you know, kind of being able to experience other things is something completely different. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, everything comes with time, and, you know, we always got to make sure we put the horse before the cart, not the cart before the horse. Yeah, Absolutely. I just didn't right, seem like dead weight. That's why I asked you the other day for a task list. I'm like, and it's got a lot. Got to have some. <laughs> yeah, a lot of what what we all do is usually generated uh, by us. Um, a lot of what I uh, what I need done, I have to do it myself. Um, and then there's other tasks that uh, the that two of them uh, can do, and then uh, the third one that uh, you'd meet. Um, if you're if you're able to later, um, yeah, it should be able. To. He has his own set of tasks that 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 he handles and handles his own stuff on the side. But most of it is most of the stuff that I end up doing usually is tied into the fact that I'm a lawyer. So most of it is yeah. I have to do myself. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, my next set, my next on my uh, to do list. Try to catch Mike when he's in the city, but he flies in fast and he flies out fast. Because oh yeah, he was definitely. Get, he was actually getting ready to hire me right before you did, and I'm like, no, nah, I already got something else. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, yeah, definitely let him know that uh, that you work at the casino, and uh, that uh, that I, yeah, I, I sent him. I did not, because okay. I didn't know what it was that uh, you'd had me handle in here, whether it be outside okay. the walls or inside. So I just kept it like I told you before. I deal. With yeah, understandable. Discreetly. Understandable. Yeah, there, there's nothing wrong with uh, you know, you're you're you're. I was gonna say casino owner, but at this point that doesn't sound right. But uh, <laughs> you manage the you you manage the casino, you know. So yeah. you're you're a manager at the casino, you know. So now, uh, that if I if I was to put some stuff out on social media about uh. You know, hey, come on down and uh, try to take a spin at the Lucky Wheel or something like that. Um, when I'm logged in, I can't see the uh, controls for the wheel, and I can't see, uh, you know, the wheel itself is stuff like that. Yeah, that that is. Well, that's a world thing for here. Um, trying to get that figured out as far as being able to see okay. the chip purchases and different stuff like that uh that's a that's a weird sort of thing that hasn't been ironed out yet and the lucky the lucky wheel i believe we disabled it ever since the okay. uh, last grand opening because it it was allowing people to spin but it wasn't actually allowing them to win anything <laughs> so it was like oh, we don't okay. we don't want to have to keep giving people money back you know because it's not working <laughs> yeah. so, so it, it shouldn't it shouldn't be functioning but uh everything else as far as how the casino operates uh it is self-sufficient uh as far as the chip purchases uh their vip purchases uh, we haven't been able to get it set to where they can purchase, uh, pay one amount and have a, a lifetime VIP. I think it only lasts about seven days. 
Um, okay. it, uh, and you would also have to include myself if uh, to enter VIP areas, we have to go get the VIP out of the booth. So uh, anytime okay. that you need the VIP or if you've gotten it, uh, if you need to get that, I think it's 75K, if you need to get that reimbursed, you know, just let us know and we'll we'll drop that so you can uh, you get that back. But that, that gets you obviously into those areas that if you walk, if you try to walk into it, it might let you take a step or two inside and force you back out. Yeah, that's what it does. That's why I wanted so. to talk to you. Like if I was trying to draw some people in here, uh, making sure everything was functional and that uh, they could do what they needed to do. Yeah, every everything else as far as the casino, all the tables, all the games, everything should be functioning the way it's supposed to. Uh, they just come in, they uh, purchase their chips. If it's not like an organized event like the grand opening was, where we're we're donating uh, some chips to get people started if they want to start. Um, if they want to come in and and uh, try to gamble out some money, just have them come in, get their chips, and direct them to any tables, and you know, kind of go from there. Make sure everybody's good. Uh, if you want to have some bottles on you, you can do that. Um, you know, all that good stuff. They they can also purchase from the bar, um, and that functions without uh, needing us to do it. Okay. Yeah, I might try to start getting some people in here and. Uh see if i can start hearing some whispers and stuff that way too so oh yeah 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 definitely definitely yeah so maybe i'll All send right. out a uh, tweet later on and uh see if i can get some of these people down here and uh okay hang out for a few minutes okay that sounds good uh i'm gonna go on and head on back up to the to the house and uh call it a day uh I live up uh, right underneath the Vinewood sign, so if I ever tell you to come to the house or meet me at the house, uh, the Vinewood sign, the house right underneath it. Okay. All right, man. Well, have a good night. I'm going to get my stuff out of the safe and uh, go roam around and see what I can get into. All right, boss. Uh, I might be back later on uh, if you're still in the city. If not, then uh, I'll catch you next time. Yeah, Thursdays and Fridays are usually my uh, full-time days in the city. So. Ah, okay, okay, cool. That's good to know. That is good to know. All right, boss. Well, uh, I'm going to head on out, and, and uh, I'll catch you later. All right, man. Have a good one. All right, you too. All right, so we got that done. Head on back to the crib. Had to link up, get a couple things uh, sorted out for Timmy there. He is one of the, the newest employees. Haven't really brought him into anything illegal yet, so I try to keep him on the on the legal side of things and keep conversations in that direction, no matter which which way he tries to push. Uh, we're gonna take the lucid back. Well, let's do the sniper truck. I don't really feel like driving. We'll take the cyber truck back. We ain't got the cyber truck picked up yet either. All right, so let's make sure was the cyber truck. Okay, yeah, I got the cyber truck, but I did not put those up in. And the vision. Oh, hold on, let me get back in here and put this up. Get the vision back out. So we can put the key to the vision in the glove box. Alright, that's the vision key. For that. Alright, now we can get the cyber truck back out. Sometimes I do forget to put the key back in the glove box for the next time. All right, so let's head on. Head back to the crib. Got that business sorted out. Oh, damn, he's uh, parked right there. He got a nice little Jeep, I see. Alright, 
So, go ahead and set the poster for the crib. Got enough charge for now to get us up here. Get it right about there. Oh, it's gonna take us that way. Let's see if they see what it do for this way. All right, so where you want us to go? Let's we'll head on that. Should probably connect to the to the app. Hey, hey. Sorry about that. The autopilot got going. No, that's cool. Hey, I just want to let you know there was nothing in the safe. There was just ammo. Ammo? Yeah. In the in the storage for the well, job. When you walk up to the wall and uh, the stash. Oh yeah, no no no! The was in there was the. Ammo. The one by the desk. Yeah, on the wall. No, 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 not by the wall, by the desk. Uh, at the purple circle okay, area. Okay, check it out. Yeah, I'll wait oh, right okay. here. The purple Make area. Sure you get it. Oh, don't worry yeah. about it, because if it ain't there, if I ain't able to get it, I ain't worried about it. I'll just get with you next time. It's a, next time I'm in. Well, I, yeah, I, I'm gonna go ahead and head to the crib. Uh, just shoot me a text. Uh, I did get your new number, didn't I? Um, I might gave it to you, but I don't have yours. All right, hold on. Oh, my phone's broke. I went to delete a tweet and it turned my screen black. <laughs> so I got to reload anyway. So, yeah, if you just want to okay. shoot me a text, I'll see it when I reload. Yeah, I, I just sent you uh, my number and then, uh, yeah, I'll shoot you a text and uh, All right. make sure. But yeah, because what I'll do is uh, if, if it's for whatever reason not showing in there, then uh i can uh i can always send it through the phone okay it's not a big deal i'll check it out in uh, a little bit after i uh relog so all right cool 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 no problem all right well, all i'm right, gonna head man. on out i'll catch you later Autopilot going. Change the view. All right. But yeah, so like I was saying, you know, Timmy's new. If you haven't heard, you know, he's definitely looking to come up in the world, make yourself useful, got a lot of great ideas, make some money. Uh, so I definitely am looking to have that on the team. Um, and see where see where that goes. Um, he seems to be reliable, focused, street as he says. So always appreciate that. Uh, you know we got our our one problem child that uh, is a little wild, but you know he keeps he keeps the uh, his side quest away from the business, and and that's respect. So can't say nothing bad about the man, you know. He may not make the best choices at time for for himself or his little side businesses, but you know at least he don't mess up the big business. That's the most important thing. That way nobody has to disappear. You know? But that LS Customs uh, situation, man, if that man don't get my money, man. Uh, they need to return my little 75k. I'm gonna spend more than 75k to make sure they don't make nothing. So. Hopefully they, you know, to get their shit going. I like this song though, so I'm gonna let this shit or this little part of the mix. I heard this the other day. Let this shit right. Take, start taking these cars to get them fixed up the way I want them. 
because I haven't really done anything to the cars yet since I got them. So, got to work on that. All right, see if I can not hit the damn fence this time. Last time, boy, that motherfucker. I, was, I swear when I was coming down the hill before in the vision and ran right into the damn fence, I swear I hit the brake, but man, it's right into the damn fence. All right, come on, though. So anyway, another day down. Life of Nay, trap boy Nay, running things. Good lawyer, you know we here, we getting shit running. How we keep this? How we keep this this ship flowing, man? You know, like I said, everything don't always be all glitz and glamour at times, as far as the you know busting in the streets well for one you know we ain't trying to do too much of that anyway man you see how we living up here man we ain't got time for that that street level shit you know but we can throw some money somebody way to make sure that they go get that done and we can get close enough to watch it but we ain't getting our hand dirty like that so appreciate y'all pulling up make sure you like comment subscribe if you're still here you are i appreciate that uh definitely does help the channel we are trying to grow here as a family do this here together each and every video try to make sure we we keep everything entertaining and realistic as possible uh whether silver or leo and uh and we'll keep this thing rolling man i'll holler at y'all twin